As air hits the mountains, it's forced to rise and condenses to form clouds of water droplets. Rain or snow begins to fall. This water runs quickly off the granite rocks, forming steep, fast-flowing streams on the mountainsides. Viewed from above, we see how the rivulets form radial patterns as they flow down from the mountain peak. The ridges in the mountains form watersheds. These watersheds are the dividing lines of the mountain ranges. The water will flow either side of the watersheds to collect in drainage basins. The drainage basin is the area in which all the waters that feed the river collect. At the head of one of these drainage basins lies Klingkomwe. This lake nestles in a huge blanket bog of sphagnum moss that soaks up the water until the ground is saturated. The whole area acts like a giant sponge that oozes water to form gently flowing streams. One of these streams now snakes its way down the upland valley to form the waters of the River Conway. These are the upper reaches of the river. Water flows from the mountains to collect in the source of the river, Kling Conway. The main stream that flows from it is joined by tributaries at junctions we call confluences and grows in strength. The river now begins to cut its way down through the Snowdonian landscape. 